Hey everybody, Looks Into Swirl here. Um, I realize we're all in different locations, but here where I am, the temperatures are getting really pretty cold. It was down in the 30s. It's supposed to be down in the 30s tonight and tomorrow night as well before we get a little bump of heat again. So definitely Halloween weather, not mid-September weather for me. Let's do a Halloween pour. I was at, uh, you wouldn't be surprised to know, Dollar Tree recently, getting essential items, of course. And I saw these uh, jack-o'-lantern picks, and I, I didn't even notice the fact that they glow in the dark. They, they may not do that by the time we're done with them, but anyway, they're kind of cool. They're styrofoam. And uh, originally I thought they were on uh, wire, so I was just gonna bend the wire up so that I could easily lift them off the, uh, the canvas after the pour, and it turns out they're on sticks. <laughs> so, Instead of uh, lifting, or instead of bending the wires, I, because they're not wires, uh, the picks, I just cut them off. I'll still be able to use them to pick up, so to speak. I wanted to show you how they come. They come with it like this. You can, I assume, stick them into the ground or into a flower arrangement, something like that. We're going to use them like this to pour over and see what kind of design we might get. <laughs> Maybe. They're really, really, really lightweight because they're styrofoam. So, yeah. Uh, uh. I had this all figured out and now they're not cooperating with me, but that's okay. We'll, we'll persevere. We're all about persevering here. Oh, come on now. Just, just. Ah, ha, ha. Okay, laughing pumpkins. Okay, we need approximately five ounces of paint, which would be half of this bowl. It's a 10 ounce bowl. Silicone, so you can just peel the paint out when it dries. Yeehaw, I love that. We'll use them. Here's what we're gonna use. We are gonna use DecoArt Fluid Art Ready to Pour Acrylic Paints. We have Coral. We have Vivid Orange, which Honestly, it's kind of light coral, so we'll separate those out in our layers. We're gonna use True Red, Deep Turquoise, Navy. This is very dark, and uh, I'm using this instead of black because. And uh, Fuchsia. I'm, I, you know, I started out thinking Halloween colors, and then I just sort of grabbed some other colors as well. So <laughs> we're gonna get what we get, but we'll start with orange. So that'll be the last color out. I will not be, you know, doing a, well, I could do a tree ring, I guess, on all of them. I was thinking about doing little rings on each one, but we'll, we'll probably do both. Okay, jack-o'-lantern styrofoam tree rings begin. <laughs> Give them a minute to drip. Okay. And now we tilt. We got, we got some pattern from the pumpkins in there. Jack-o'-lanterns.
a little muddy too. I kind of like that. Yeah, a little more over the edge here. Come yeah, on, you can do it. There we go. Back. There. Yeah. All right. Pop my corners here. Excellent. What do you think, folks? It's kind of dark, but it's uh, it's pretty cool. I like it. All right, I'll get my hands cleaned up. We'll go in for our close-up. Okay, time for our close-up. Here is the lower left corner. Across the bottom. Oh, look at those blues and purples. Oh, I love it, love it, love it. Gorgeous. Lower right corner. Up the right side, I love that. All the lines, we did get some patterns, we really did. Pretty cool. Upper right corner, across the top. Even the spots where it started to get a little muddy and blended, they look beautiful. Upper left corner, and down the left side. That's neat. Flowers. And there's the entire picture. Beautiful. I wouldn't say our jack o lanterns look like much. Here are two of them. There are the other two. Not very exciting there, but that's okay. Thanks everybody. Like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. Stay safe and I'll see you in the next video.